What you guys got another video on how to make your old laptop run like new again. Now the other day we made a video about Flex OS, which is from Google, but a lot of people were complaining and say it didn't have the Google Play Store, which is what they wanted to have on the operating system. So I'm going to show you a real alternative to make this old laptop like new again using Fade OS. Now Fade OS is Fade OS 14, I think we're up to now, and it does have that Google uh, Play Store. Again, you can use this on uh, the PC, VMware, and for you, as you can see here. Now, there is some paid options on here, uh, so you can check those out. You can go on here and cross-reference against what you need and what you don't need. And again, the free version for uh, VMware is there, but it does have some restrictions. And again, you've got it for the PC as well. So we're going to hit the download button up here. What you need to do is look on this section here for this PC, and it will say in this section here, is your Intel Core a 3rd to 8th generation, or is it an Intel 9th to 11th generation, or is it an Intel AMD? You can choose which one suits uh, your CPU here. Once you get this option, you'll be able to download it. You can see there is a big download via OneDrive here, or we have iCloud or the Fade OS IO uh, Mirror 2 there. So you can choose which one suits you. So I'm going to hit the OneDrive button and download this from OneDrive. It does take a bit of time and uh, just hit the download button and sit back and wait. Once we've got this, uh, we can then create our bootable USB flash drive, and we can use this image uh, to create that. So we're going to need uh, Etcher. So go to Etcher's website. I'll leave the links in the video description, and I'm going to download the portable version of Etcher. And uh, you can use whatever software you'd like to create your bootable USB flash drive. I'm just going to be using Etcher. So once we've got Etcher downloaded, we can open this up, and then we can start the process of creating our bootable USB flash drive with Fade OS on it. Now, Etcher is pretty straightforward and easy to use. I've got my USB flash drive plugged in here. And uh, again, what we're going to do here is go back to Etcher and select the uh, flash from the file. So we need to choose that file we downloaded, and this is the one here. So I'm going to select this and click on Open, and this will then select it. Now we need to select our target, which is going to be our USB drive. So I'm going to choose this one here. Make sure it's your USB flash drive. Once you've got this, you can click on select and then just hit flash. It's that simple. And it will go ahead and start to get ready and flash your USB flash drive uh, with the Fader OS 14 on it. And you can see flash completed. Everything went successful. And now I am booting into the BIOS of this laptop. And it's important that we disable secure boot 10 out of 10 if you can work out what I look like in the reflection of that laptop. So let's go ahead and go to the section where we can disable secure boot. And uh, we're going to go to security here. And there is secure boot down here. So I'm going to go down to secure boot, click on enter. And you can see secure boot is enabled. And we need to disable this. So I'm just going to go ahead and disable it. Once that's done. We're going to go ahead and click on F10 and save these settings. So let me go ahead and click F10, save these, and boot up to that USB flash drive. You can choose your language. I'm going to be choosing the UK and English. Move on to the next one. And it basically says, welcome to your Fade OS. Now, this is where you can uh, try it first or install Fade OS. I always like to try it first to make sure it's working okay and the touchscreen is working because this is a touchscreen laptop. And I'm going to try it out first. And this way you can get a good feel of whether you like it or not. So I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi and accept their end of license agreement here. And the privacy section, we just need to select that. And once this is done, it's going to load up. Now you should see create an account here. But the good thing is you don't need to create an account. You can use a local account rather than having to set up a Google account. So you can just sign in as a local account or you can even sign in as a guest. So I'm going to quickly set this up and sign in and then click on next. And then once we've got that, it says you are ready, you get started. Now, there we go. We're at the desktop and you can now have a mess around uh, with Fade OS. And you can get Google Play Store working on here. And again, you can even do all this even on a, a local account when you've not even installed it. You can still set all this up and then reboot the computer and boot back and it will use a container to hold all of this so you don't have to uh, you know completely redo it all again so it's quite a nice little os 
So if you do have that old laptop lying around doing nothing, then you may as well drag it out, dust it off, and uh, basically install Fade OS and give it a try. You can try it before you installed it. And if you've got, say, an SSD in there or even an hard drive, it'll still work perfectly fine. You can see this is working really well and there's no problems at all. And it's super fast and super snappy. You can change all the wallpapers. There's loads of settings inside here. Everything works okay, exactly the way it should do. The touchscreen works. Everything works the way it should do. So I'm pretty impressed with it for an old laptop, which we can give a new lease of life to. So that's the way I look at things. Rather than throw things away, you can now give this to your kids or give it to someone who hasn't got a laptop and re reuse or repurpose that old laptop. You can play movies on it. As you can see here, it's playing back this movie. No problem at all here. And this is a IPS 1080p uh, screen on this little laptop and it works perfectly fine and you can give it a new lease of life. So if you want to stream movies, you can go to YouTube and it will work perfectly fine on YouTube as well with this OS. Works perfectly fine there. And the good thing is you're just repurposing something. I'm going to quickly show you the Google Play Store does work. If you want to see a video on how to install the Google Play Store onto this OS, then let me know in the comments section. I'll be happy to show you how to get that working. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to quickly play Beach Buggy Racer here and show you that you can play Android games straight off the Google Play Store on this little device. So you've got no excuses now. I mean, with the Flex OS, it didn't have this option, whereas you can use this OS and basically uh, start using it for things that you wanted to use it for, which is from the Google Play Store. So it gives you plenty of options for applications, games, and other things like that. And with that Play Store, it just gives you plenty of more options available for that laptop and that OS. And you can see here, it's having no problem playing this at all. And this is not a really hardcore sort of game, but it just gives you options to play these little games on your laptop. And uh, you should be fine with it. As you can see here, silky smooth, no jerkiness or no stuttering. And it's working perfectly fine. And it doesn't have a dedicated GPU on this laptop and works perfectly fine. Now, remember, we're on the try it version, so we need to install this on the laptop if we want to use it as a proper operating system. And all that is is basically selecting the hard drive during the install process, and that's it. It takes care of the rest. It's pretty much similar to what you're seeing during the setup process here. But if you are happy with it, you can go ahead and install it. If you want to see an installation video, then let me know in the comments section below. But pretty much, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do that. It's not that difficult, but if you do want to see it, let me know and I'll do my best to make that video for you. Just wanted to show you the actual OS itself. It is quite good and uh, it's give this laptop a new lease of life. Anyway, that is going to be about it. If you've got any other sort of requests you want to see for this laptop or installations, then let me know in the comments section, but I'll be happy to try those out for you. Also, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And a special shout out to all my tier three YouTube members, Welsh Tony One, Geo Sam, Albert Euston, Mar Sierra, Jedi Buddhist, and Bill's Computer Repair. You guys are awesome and I really do appreciate the support. Hopefully I will see you on the Discord server or in the next video. Bye for now.